is interdependent. Individual human lives are enriched and sustained by the variety of life around us. An impoverished environment affects us all. Guardian Life invites you to meet and respect some of our neighbors on this planet and join with us in a dedication to life. All life. Drive out into the country at night. Sit on the side of the road and listen. What do you hear? There is a multitude of sounds, squeaks, gurgles, grunts, whistles. Some of us fail to appreciate these sounds and dismiss them all as just sounds of the light. But listen carefully. Pay attention to individual sounds. What you will realize is that there is a great community of animals out there proclaiming their existence. Many of these animals are frogs. Some are crickets and you can hear the occasional bird. During the day, these frogs lie quietly sleeping. They are protected from predators in their dark, cool hiding places where they are also safe from the drying effects of sunlight. At night, they become active. The males calling to broadcast their species, their position, and their strength. Each type of frog has its own characteristic call, and females respond only to calls of their own species as they listen to judge which of the competing males is the one they want to mate with. This leads to tremendous choruses of male frogs all striving to produce the sexiest croak. This is the call of Buffo marinus, the crapo, the largest frog in Trinidad and Tobago. The crapo lays eggs in long strings in streams which hatch into hundreds of tadpoles. These must be distasteful to fish, for they are never eaten. The mud puddle frog, or punglala, produces a meringue-like spawn in which the eggs develop until they are ready to drop into the water. The bottle and spoon frog lays in moist crevices. The eggs hatch directly into little froglets without passing through the tadpole stage. This marsupial frog, with the scientific name Flectonotus fitzgeraldi, does lay eggs. Somehow the female manages to get these eggs up onto her back, where they are carried until they hatch. They develop into large tadpoles, which the female releases into pools in the leaf apex of a wild tanya or bromeliad. Cholestethus trinitatis is a diurnal frog which also carries its tadpoles on its back. In this case, it is the male which carries them. Phyla medusa, the beautiful green tree frog, protects her eggs by building a nest. This frog lives in the canopy, descending only to mate and to lay. She constructs a nest of leaves above a pool and here deposits her eggs. These hatch simultaneously and drip down to the water below where they develop into tiny froglets. All these events continue in rural Trinidad almost throughout the year peaking at the start of the wet season. In urban areas, however, with tighter development patterns and ever-increasing numbers of people, the frog population is dwindling. It would be a great shame if for future generations the sounds of the night enjoyed by their parents should lose the sonorous richness of the crapo chorus only to be replaced by the harsh growl of the traffic and the shriek of the police car siren.